Alright, so we're back with part three of our uh, comparison between the iPhone 3G on AT&T and the BlackBerry Storm on Verizon. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, behind the camera. Uh, parts one and two, we took a look, kind of general look around the devices and a specific look at messaging, email, and uh, text messaging, and that kind of stuff on both phones. Uh, since the last video, Verizon has issued, Verizon and RIM have issued an official uh, software upgrade for the storm, and in fact, a second upgrade has been leaked on the internet um, more recently. I have not yet installed the leaked upgrade. I did install the official Verizon upgrade, and it definitely has helped quite a bit. Um, you know, my my biggest complaints about Storm when it came out were uh, that I don't really like the typing system, and that hasn't really changed. It's still got the clickable screen, the sure the sure press screen with the. Uh, Sure press typing system that you can see in depth in uh, part two of this series. But the other big complaint was how buggy and laggy the phone was. And Verizon uh, and RIM have really done a lot to kind of uh, kind of fix a lot of those things. Uh, the transitions between applications and uh, just the overall responsiveness of the device definitely improved. The accelerometer uh, is hugely improved. Um, I haven't had the kind of random freeze ups and crashes and uh, the one you know giant crash that I had when I first was using the phone in multimedia mode haven't had those uh, with the device since and in general you know things are just working a little bit better as you can see you know a little bit more smooth a little bit more responsive than uh, than with the original operating system that quite frankly just shouldn't have they shouldn't have shipped the phone with the first operating system but they did uh, anyway, this video is going to look specifically at web browsing and multimedia on both devices. So we'll load up the uh, Safari browser on the iPhone and the BlackBerry browser. Uh, and we'll go to Phone Dog on both sites. And this isn't a speed comparison because this is a jailbroken iPhone 3G. I don't have an active uh, iPhone 3G account right now. So it's a jailbroken iPhone 3G on Wi-Fi. And then the storm is running on Verizon's 3G network. But just to show you the browsers in action, uh, the storm has the best BlackBerry browser to date. It renders full HTML, uh, which the bold also does. But the storm is actually a little bit faster. It handles JavaScript faster, or at least uh, Faster than it did when I reviewed the Bold, which was, you know, a month or so ago now. But uh, I, I checked out a Bold the other day I was playing with one because I really like that phone. And the browser still seemed a little bit slow. Uh, Bold owners and BlackBerry aficionados probably know a little bit more than I do about how to speed it up. Maybe there's a new version out. But anyway, you can see Phone Dog, the Phone Dog homepage on uh, both of these phones. And, you know, it renders the HTML true on both phones. You're not seeing, um, for some reason, you're not seeing the... Uh, um, the what do you call it? The ad on the top of the BlackBerry screen. You can see this Nokia ad here on the Phone Dog homepage uh, near the top, and then you don't see that on the Storm, uh, probably having to do with JavaScript rendering. And similarly, you don't see this ad. There's an ad over here on the iPhone screen, not on the BlackBerry screen as well. Um, you can zoom in. Double tap to zoom in on the uh, iPhone, as I just showed you, you can click to zoom in on the BlackBerry. And then you've got your controls on the bottom here with the BlackBerry, you can zoom out. Uh, the BlackBerry also you can toggle between pan mode and cursor mode. So here I've got a cursor that I can move around to click a link, and then the link shows up. Um, the text of the link you know, pops out, which is kind of nice. Uh, if you're in zoomed out mode, it's an easy way to kind of get around the screen although it's not doing it on that link. So, you know, still not perfect for sure. Uh, or you can switch to cursor mode, I mean to pan mode rather, where you can uh, grab and pan around the screen. And then, that's pretty responsive, a little bit of redraw time, as you can see, but works pretty well. With the iPhone, it's just the uh, panning and zooming, also a little bit of redraw time, a little bit smoother on the iPhone. Both, though, honestly, quite responsive. Uh, the capacitive touchscreens on both phones work pretty well. Um, 
And again, with the iPhone, you can also do the much fabled pinching and zooming to get in and out, which is something, when I've shown the Storm to people, the first thing they try to do is go like this. Uh, it just doesn't work because it's not multi-touch. And then you can turn the phone to the side to kick the accelerometer in, and you can see uh, on both devices the accelerometer working. There's the iPhone, and there's the Storm. And then the accelerometer's kick back, so there you go. Uh, the iPhone shows the URL bar and your search window up on top by default. Uh, and then on the bottom you have navigation controls, bookmarks, that kind of stuff. On the, on the bottom of the storm, on the storm on top you don't have that window. On the bottom you have a button that you can click to go to a link, whereas on iPhone you just tap and you get your keyboard up there. On the storm it's kind of a two-step uh, two process. There you go, show type style, or you could rotate and get the full QWERTY. iPhone similarly, the vertical keyboard, or you can rotate and get your horizontal keyboard. Actually, you have to rotate first. I forgot, you have to rotate the phone <clears throat> while you're still in web browsing mode, uh, and then you can tap, and then you can type in your URL. So we'll go to uh, the New York Times page. on both devices. And so the iPhone is loading up the uh, full home page, the regular desktop version. The bold, the uh, storm, did I just call it the bold again? I was doing that before. The storm loads up the mobile version. What's that? Apparently breastfeeding is being censored on uh, Facebook. All right then. And there's your uh, full mobile version <clears throat> by default on iPhone. And we'll go one more since it said Facebook, we'll go Facebook. And so Facebook, you get this iPhone optimized version. You can see it automatically redirects to the iPhone URL, which more and more sites are doing. Uh, you get to the regular site, and then on the Storm, it's the mobile version. We'll go to the regular site here. And you know what I'll do is while this is loading, I'll actually log in on both so you can see. All right, and so on the iPhone, uh, here's the Facebook page and uh, the Facebook homepage. And it's pretty true to the original. Um, you know, it really uh, looks more or less just like, oh, look, some folks became fans of Phone Dog TV. You can do that, too. Um, but, you know, it really, it's looking a lot like it does in the original. The uh, That bottom bar there is not showing at the bottom of the screen for some reason, but showing up kind of in the middle, um, which is kind of strange. It looks like it still has functionality. You can still uh, go to your notifications and whatever, but kind of weird that it's showing up there at the bottom. And here it is on... Similar uh, on the storm, same thing. Looks like the regular Facebook homepage. It's got that bottom notifications bar across the middle of the screen, which is kind of strange. But uh, otherwise, it looks pretty good. Can zoom in. And yeah, you know, it. it um, they both look pretty good. The, I think the iPhone is a little bit smoother. But uh, you know, not by a whole much, at the, a whole lot at this point. Um, really, BlackBerry did a nice job. This is, you know, definitely this generation with the uh, the Storm and the Bold, a much better web browsing experience than on previous generations of Blackberries for sure. So both are solid web browsing phones as far as the, you know, the uh, 
the actual browser goes, the iPhone, a little bit smoother, like I said, and the multi-touch makes it a little bit easier to get around in certain ways, but they just each have a different gesture language, you know, I think is a lot of it. So we'll move on to multimedia, and um, 